Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Don't forget to... Uh, this cat are coming here now. I'm making sure that they're all coming. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to this YouTube channel for videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Saying it again, we're smashing the Sunday video these days. Um, at the moment, I'm back here feeding the cattle, um, all the store cattle and the yearlings. I'm just gonna run through the prices that I kinda got the last mark there. It's gonna be a quick video, not very long. I'm just going through the prices that I got. Um, my cattle, I've probably said this hundreds of times, um, my cattle, they're all, all that's here. That's Angus, that's one Hereford, Whitehead. My sister caught him Gerald. I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know why, because he's the only Whitehead, so we caught him Gerald. Gerald, why Gerald? I have no idea. Um, why not? And Frisian, obviously, because Frisian is off the dairy cows, obviously. Um, there will be some more Herefords this year born, I think, um, because the bull, because I have a Hereford bull, so there'll be more Herefords born. Uh, comparison on both breeds, there is a premium for the Angus at the moment, but I have to say, even I have a neighbour, he rears calves, and he uh, he's rearing calves for years, and he often says the Hereford is the best calf to rear because they just they look after themselves, they gain weight, and the temperament is good, and they're just a nice, solid breed. They good carcass kill out and everything. They're just a good animal. Angus is great as well. Frisian, Frisian's there as well. You would really feed them to keep the weight on. If you don't feed them enough, they won't hold the weight and they won't weigh as good. That's what the Frisian are. They're a dairy breed. That's how they are. Do you know Angus and Hereford are beef breeds? Do you know? That's my take on it. So, um, there's all eating here now. There's a mixture of heifers, Angus heifers, and Angus bullocks here, Frisian bullocks. And come back to the mart. I brought down, first of all, there was five cull cows and there was four Angus Bullocks, nearly two-year-olds, and there was also two Frisian, nearly two-year-olds, Bullocks, and two Angus Heifers. They were kind of, the Heifers were kind of butcher Heifers, a lot of butchers buy the hef butchers. Heifers go to the butchers, that's, what, that's how it works. And we'll start at the cows. The cows killed out, they, probably, they made about, in the region of 800 euros a piece, the cows normally make they all weighed about five six hundred kilos i wasn't at the mart i watched i actually my my father was, was at the mart i had to go away and do other jobs he he went to the mart i watched i actually watched it online online marts are just the best thing ever i don't think if one thing came out if one thing came out of the pandemic was online marts it is the best i think it's the best thing ever i think honestly like it's even because people are bidding for all over the country and different marts and it's just drove the price up so whoever thought of that brilliant um the Angus Bullocks, the Angus Bullocks, I have it all, I, it's in my diary, but I have it all kind of memorised in my head. The Angus Bullocks weighed about, they, they weighed 580 kilos. Four of them, they averaged out each to 580, and they made 1400, so it's about 2 euro 40 euros, 2, sorry, 2 euro 40 cent a kilo. Um, that's what kind of what cattle are making at the moment. Very happy with that, very happy, and that's with a bit of Angus premium included. So, happy with that. Um, the heifers, they weighed about, I think they weighed 500 kilos, something like that. They came in about 1,200. There is a bit. Of, there was demand for heifers at, at the mart. There was a bit of demand at the time um, for heifers and for Angus, Angus bullocks and heifers. And then my lovely Frisians, one of them there staring at me, when he should be eating. Ration, I don't know. Some of them, did, some of them don't eat it at all. I don't understand. They just <laughs> sit there and stare at me. But anyway, um, the heifers, there was demand for heifers and bullocks, Angus bullocks at the mart. Frisian, the Frisians weighed 615 kilos. That's what they weighed. Uh, <laughs> pretty impressive. But they were massive Frisian. There's, there's a few more there that weigh, that are going to weigh pretty heavy. See that one there now, the one there, and over there, and uh, so that's another one there, you see over there. They are going to weigh a lot, do you know, there is a lot of weight on them, but they're, look, be nice, they're all nearly two-year-olds now. So, 
they're all 92 year olds um, they w made 1200 euros so they made about give or take just under the two euros a kilo so happy with that very happy with that you know they all done well um, cattle are booming at the moment everyone knows that they're booming um, I, can back, I can think back to before the pandemic they were not booming <laughs> everyone was trying to get out of them but they've just taken off again which is brilliant for all beef farmers out there I'm just as much a beef farmer as anyone, do you know? Um, do you know, so I've got a mixture here, I've got heifers here. They all need more time if they're gonna weigh out. Like he's only, he's only like, he's only a year old on that Frisian bullock, so he's only, that's actually a Frisian heifer. There's two Frisian heifers here. Why are they here? They were twins, two bull, they were born with twins. And the bull takes a lot of, when you have twins, I suppose in layman's terms, one's a male, one's a female. The male takes a lot of the genetics from the female, about 90%. This is how it, it, it works. And that heifer can't be bred. It's annoying, I know, I had two sets last year. It's annoying, but what you do, this is how it is. You have to just get over it. I know I'm just rare to beef and look, whatever they make, they make, do you know? Two nice heifers too, but this is how it goes, do you know? Cattle are going well at the moment, you know, there's big demand for good carcass weight and, you know, I'm feeding them, I'm feeding them maybe two kilos a meal a day. I probably should feed them more, like, I probably should feed them more, you know, but they seem to be getting on fine. You know, it's, it's a costly racket too, like cattle, like, you know, because they've, all them bags of nuts now clear, they got four and they're all gone within seconds. So, <laughs> look. They're eating, they're eating two bales of silage a day, a day, and sometimes three, sometimes three. They probably eat four if they got it, you know. Um, but, well, they probably wouldn't, you know. They normally eat two. What I do with them normally, I give them two, they eat the two completely, and then I give them two more, because if you give them two more, they're only wasted, and there's no point. Um, there's big demand in, in the market at the moment for cattle. For good quality cattle, there's big demand, you know. I don't, I, all my cattle are rare to stores, they're all weird, rare to stores. A lot of them are nearly finished, they're nearly fit to go to the factory, a lot of them, some of them. The last ones probably nearly were, if they were 600 kilos, they probably would have been. But um, finishing cattle is, again, cost the game as well, do you know? But a lot of people out there doing it, do you know? Um, there's even good demand for cull cows, I found at the market. There's even good demand for cull cows as well, there was, do you know? Um, do you know? Big demand for a lot of different cattle in the mart, do you know, like the online marts, if you watch I watch all I watch all the marts, a lot of the marts are on Kerry online and I watch them sometimes I watch them around the country sometimes. Do you know it's int it's not even it's just interesting to see the different prices, how they vary in different parts of the country. Do you know? And I think it's just online mart was the best thing that ever came in. Really cool like. And I see Gerald is staring at us now. I have no idea why he's calling Gerald. I have no idea. Do you know? Maybe my sister can explain that one. But um, so it suits him though. He's a Gerald, isn't he? He oh, oh he's definitely a Gerald. Um, do you know? See that big Frisian bulk there now. Do you know? He probably could do it again, but more ways. I probably insulted him by saying that. But um, look, the guy down there as well. They all, they're all in line now for the next mark, I think. Or any of the mark after that. There's about a month there. An extra month to do them massively, do you know? Massively, the one there as well, do you know? See, the Frisians, they don't, you see them, they don't gain, they don't have the same kind of weight as the poly. The poly has just twice the weight, like, even they fill out more, do you know, there's more, <laughs> there's more meat in them, like, it's out there, do you know? But there's nothing wrong with the Frisian either, a lot of people buy Frisians, there's nothing wrong with them, do you know? And the Frisian, what's the one thing about the Frisian if you're buying calves, the Frisian is the cheaper option if you want to get into rearing calves, whatever, do you know? But if you want to pay for a good calf, you have to pay the money, like, you know, if you're getting into calf to BC, I have all the calves, so, already, so it doesn't cost him, I, I don't have to buy them at the start. That's my advantage. I don't have to buy them. Um, might buy a few more this year for extra calves. I don't know. I might. I'll see. Um, 
I'm not too sure really. I might buy a few extra. I have it kind of thinking about it at the moment. I kind of, I have the ground, I think, for them. So I, I have the land for them. So I think I, I could hold an extra 15 maybe. I think I could, do you know, um, on the out farm here. Do you know, the home, the dairy farm, do you know, there's not much room there. Like, cause that, that's obviously off of the cows and a bit of silage after that as well. Do you know, so I probably, I wouldn't say I'm a total beef farmer. I'm more, I'm a dairy farmer at heart, but I do have interest in beef cattle. That makes sense. So I would, I always, I would always finish and rear and finish my own calves. Do you know, like I wouldn't go into beef predominantly, but I'm more of a dairy farmer to be honest. That's where my heart lies. That's where my future is. But I do like beef as well. See, normally I just feed them nuts feed and ration and they just live out here in the out farm for the year do you know and once you do the best job of rearing them as calves once you once you give them i think with calves once you give them a good start don't let them get sick get, give them a good good start they look after themselves after that because once the calf goes two months old with me they're on their own after that they can look after themselves unless something really goes wrong with them do you know i watch them but normally they take care of themselves Especially the Anguses and the, the Herefords, Whiteheads and Pollies, to some people, me, me included, they take off on their own. Now, the only ones I would watch a lot is the Frisian Heifers. I would watch them a lot because obviously they're my next, they're my future replacements. The beef animals aren't take care of themselves. I feed them enough, they take care of themselves normally. I just dose them, they take care of themselves. You know, make sure there's fresh grass in front of them all the time as calves and as weanlings and they look after themselves predominantly, which is brilliant. Do you know? Um... Yeah, that's the video guys, that's about me explaining my cattle, do you know, what's happy, I will, as I go through selling cattle, I might do a mart video, I'll see, it's that on that day, I'm just so busy trying to load them, I just haven't got time to be filming, but I might do a mart video at some stage throughout the year, if I get a chance, and, you know, as I sell, I will ex say the prices, as I sell, I will tell you what prices I got and how it went, you know, so that's the cattle, all happy and settling in. I got the Pride and Joy here, the 8.4. I brought back the trailer of it again. Um, the 8.4 this year, a few bits to do to it. Not, there's a few bits to do to it at the moment, actually, just a few tiny little things. Um, I have to get her sorted out, but she's fine here than that, you know. Um, but there is a bit of a rust problem. I have to try and. Um, there's bits of rust now on the cab. I have to try and get them addressed. I don't know. I, I, I'll have to give it to somebody, I think. Um, she has to be sorted out even I want to spray the rims a bit like there's bits of rust coming but look she's 20 she's 21 years old she's not in bag nick really she's in great nick to be honest like but there is just bits and pieces to be done to it you know like any tractor of that age same with same that same with the 900 there's bits to be done to it they're both old do you know I put a personal price sell them off but I just you know they're simple you know and everything do you know but um Sunday video, I'm spreading slurry in the A4. Um, I'm spreading here. I'll, I'll be spreading here on the out farm, so um, that video will be up on Sunday, Friday morning, and I'm go, I go through, I explain about tractors and all that and what I'm doing and how everything else is going. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to like the video, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and yeah, just keep the views up and the more you want, the more content I'll give. So thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.